The finale for Has Been Hotel got released a couple days ago, so I've been watching the entire first season over and over to find every single bit of information that I can possibly find. And friends, today, I have a theory that will make you question everything you know about one particular character, Lilith. Spoilers, of course, for the entire first season of Has Been Hotel. But anyway, let's just get right into it. So across the multiple videos we've made about this show, we've all thought that Alistair and Lilith had a deal. We weren't crystal clear on the terms of said deal, but we had a strong feeling that it at least existed. And now, with the full season being released, I think we finally have what we need to figure out what's actually going on here once and for all. So back in the second theory, we talked about Alistair's deal, and we deduced that the seven year absence between him and Lilith was more than just a little suspicious. And we had our hunches, like Alistair showing up right after Charlie gets off the phone with Lilith and the pilot, this seemingly random moment where he stares a little too long at a picture of Lilith and her family, his completely unwarranted hatred of Lucifer just out of nowhere, and the list goes on. There were just way too many connections between these two characters for this to be some random coincidence. Which leads us to today's video. See, in the finale, we got pretty much nothing on Alistair's deal with Lilith. The only thing we got was rock solid confirmation that Alistair at least has a deal with someone. But along with that, we were greeted with the quite surprising reveal that Lilith had a deal with Loot as well, commander of Adam's exorcist army. Or at least that's what you'd be led to believe at first glance. Pay closer attention to the dialogue in this scene though, and it starts to make more sense. Adam's dead, your deal is done, and I'm in charge now. This isn't somebody fulfilling their end of a deal, this is somebody's trusted team member going to inform their boss of their passing. See, I don't think Lilith had a deal with loot. I think she had a deal with Adam. Let me explain. We are told in the beginning of the show that after Lilith and Lucifer are cast down to hell, that Lucifer lost his will to dream, while Lilith's only got stronger. She began empowering her people, and in turn making hell a more formidable threat against the people of heaven. And this is when I believe her deal with Adam comes into play. See, with the population of hell growing significantly faster than the population of heaven because of obvious reasons, Sarah knew that eventually there would be a huge war. A war that would no doubt threaten the safety of her people. And as head Seraphim, it's her job to protect her people. So she would come to Adam with this problem. Adam, being the prideful human that he is, would of course suggest the exterminations as a means of population control. Sarah, seeing no other reasonable option in the amount of time that they have, reluctantly agrees. But they couldn't just send down an army and start randomly killing people whenever they wanted. If anything, that would just start the very war they were trying so hard to prevent. No, if this was going to work, they had to get rid of the main source of Hell's power. And with that, I believe Adam strikes a deal with Lilith. To stop this whole empowering her people stuff and just keep them weak so they can keep exterminating them. And in return, Lilith gets a free pass to stay in heaven as long as she wants. And from what we see at the end of episode 8, she must have agreed to that deal, forever dooming her people to hell in exchange for her own salvation. It really is the ultimate betrayal. This theory actually explains so many little details in the show that previously made no sense. Like why was Lilith keeping Charlie away from Lucifer when he was trying to teach her about his dreams and make her more powerful? I mean, surely this would be a moment in her life when her parents would try their hardest to teach her all these things, right? Well, if one parent suddenly had a change of heart, i.e. Adam making a deal with Lilith, then it suddenly makes more sense why she would keep Charlie away from Lucifer. Originally, she was all for making Charlie more powerful if it meant getting back into heaven, but once she was offered the one thing she had been fighting for this entire time, at the cost of her family, she took it. As long as Adam agrees to never hurt Charlie or Lucifer during these exterminations. That was the deal. That was what they agreed on. Only Adam, being the controlling man that he is, decided he doesn't have to follow that rule anymore. After Charlie started trying to make the extermination stop, threatening his very form of entertainment, all bets were off. 
Adam went against the deal and attacked Charlie, only it ended up getting him killed. Now with Adam dead, this deal is pretty much null and void. Lilith doesn't have any leverage to stay in heaven anymore, and if she wants her eternal vacation to continue, she has to go against her family yet again. Which leads us back to Alistair. If Lilith really agreed to give up her quest of making Hell more powerful, then that would actually mean that we were most likely right when we said that Alistair was at the hotel to prevent it from ever making any meaningful progress. With Lilith being in heaven, she obviously couldn't risk anyone ever finding her there. So she sent Alistair, the strongest overlord in hell, to watch over Charlie and the hotel to make sure it never goes anywhere. But there's a problem. We know from episode 8 that Alistair, no matter how much he doesn't want to admit it, is slowly beginning to care about the main cast, referring to them as a joyful collective to be around. And even after almost dying at the hands of Adam, Alistair still comes back. Perhaps at the terms of his deal, but even then. Any way you slice it, Alistair is slowly starting to care about these people despite the fact that he's supposed to be actively working against them. So it would make sense that he would want a way out of this twisted deal. That he would want to be more powerful so he can better defend the people he's slowly growing an attachment to. Even with his power weakened, he was still able to put up at least a decent fight against Adam. Just imagine what he could have done had he been at his full power. And let's go back a minute because even the fact that Alistair fought Adam at all supports this theory. If Alistair is indeed aware of Lilith being in heaven and this whole deal between her and Adam, then he would know that killing Adam would end their deal and force her to come back. But what would forcing her to come back do, I hear you asking? Well, to answer that question, I draw your attention back to episode 7, where Alistair makes one final deal with Lilith's daughter Charlie. In exchange for his knowledge on the angel's weakness, Charlie would have to do one favor whenever he wants, and she would have to do anything except harm someone. And when you think about it, there's a multitude of different things Alistair could make Charlie do. Now, I feel like what he ultimately tells her to do will be revealed later, but I do think this will be when he utilizes this particular deal. Maybe he has Charlie give him ownership of the hotel. Maybe he has her give him some sort of powerful artifact of some kind. I really don't know. But what I do know is there definitely is some significance with this moment. Alistair wouldn't just make a deal with the Queen of Hell's daughter for no reason. He has plans for that deal. But for what those plans actually are, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Now, the last thing I want to discuss is the very end of episode 8, where we see the impossible actually happen. Serpentius gets redeemed through his sacrifice during the battle, proving that the Hasbin Hotel really does work. And if this theory we just talked about today is indeed true, I have a feeling this will royally shake things up in heaven. With Sarah being proven wrong this entire time, we may actually see her keep this a secret from the other people of heaven. If sinners can be redeemed, then that would systematically put them in the same position as humans both being able to live their life, die, and either go to heaven or hell depending on how they lived said life. And if she's indirectly responsible for thousands if not millions of these people who are on the same level as humans dying, I have a pretty strong feeling that would cause her to face dire consequences, potentially becoming fallen just like Lucifer, and being left with no other choice but to turn to the Hasbin Hotel for redemption. And if the same thing is true for angels where they can die again and go to heaven or hell, I bet we'll end up seeing Adam arrive to the hotel at some point in the future as well. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed today's video and want more from the channel, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell. Alright everyone, that's gonna be it from me. I love every single one of you with all my heart. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.